Alabama, home of the Mississippi, house of Detroit, Georgia, Miami. Who's Amy? Miami. Hey, you mean your Amy? Bo Hunkers. Bo Hunkers? Bo Hunkers. Bo Hunkers? Oh, I'll take your part. Bo Boker. Bo Boker. Oh, well, uh, Mr. Conductor, I want to go to Hot Town. Hot Town? Yes. That's the last stop. Thanks. All aboard. All right, sir. <laughs> and salutations, everybody. This is, uh, this is Tyler Cat. Hi, I'm Tyler Cat. Uh, no intro. I mean, uh, on my last stream, I tried starting out an intro. Uh, what I say? It was, it's your favorite upside down cat who's always sunny side up. I honestly don't know. That is so incredibly cheesy and cringe as an intro. There you go. Thanks, Translation Chan. Running a bit slow. Anyway, um, I mean, I don't really have an intro, so it's not that it's cheesy or cringe. I mean, it's better than the alternative. Anyway, you're not here to hear about that. You're here to see a brand new game. Brand new game. Just came out today. It's called... It's called... Chasing the Unseen. <clears throat> and if you look in the top right-hand corner, you can see that it's version 1.00. Version 1.0.0. Only good things can come of this. I'm going to turn the sound down. I actually like the sound up, but I always have to turn it down for uh, my own sanity. I can turn it up on that end. Thank you. 
That's okay. Maybe I'll turn it just a little bit down for you guys so you can hear me. Oh, that's way too far down. 2.5. There we go. I gotta put it there. No, crack it up. Listen, uh, I'm gonna play it, and if anyone wants to tell me how the sound is on their end, you can tell me. Today's game is sponsored by Sea Salted Caramel Almond Shortbread. If you're craving the wonders of the unknown, you can't do better than Sea Salted Caramel Almond Shortbread. And with that said, let's try this game out. <clears throat> I don't know anything about this game. You try to focus, but your mind keeps wandering. It restlessly drifts to one thing and then another, leaving you lost and confused. You feel like you have to journey back and wake up from this. Now you'll need to find your path across, somehow. Turn down the volume even more. I'm gonna turn the volume. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how that goes. That little guy in the middle is me. Settings, and we're going to do uh, findings. Yeah, you know, foliage, quality, language, settings, findings, settings, findings, invert camera. Let's try the invert camera. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. That's fine. X to save. Congratulations, version 1.0. We've saved. How's the, uh... You got a reticle. I put that reticle on here, by the way. But maybe I'll take it off. All right, let me know uh, in the chat if you want reticle on or reticle off. What's that say? Suggestion. The audio's current bitrate is lower than the recommended. We recommend that you use an audio stream. Yeah, that's fine. You guys will keep up. All right, here we go. Oh, you can climb certain things in the world. Try to climb something, hold the right trigger. When you are climbing, press A to jump. So it is Shadow of the Colossus buttons. Colossus. You can always restart. Hold down Y if you're stuck. And the bass drops. If you get near something, you can climb it. The stamina gauge will appear. 
Once you climb, keep an eye on it. Oh, yeah. Totally Shadow of the Colossus. Oh yeah, totally Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus. Keep an eye open for lizards on the ground, everybody. Who's this little guy? Hey, everybody. How's it going? Yeah. a gigantic octopus. Shadow of the Colossus. Aggro. Aggro. Whoa. Not good. Not good. lives left too. Sound effect. It sounds like it's uh from Mass Effect. Oh yeah, how's it going? That didn't work. Figured I could just hop on that guy. I bet I could have. And I just didn't. Shin splints. Oh, hey, cool. Boom. Ah, darn it. And, uh, fling myself up off that thing. Wouldn't that have been nice? Oh, well. Can 
controls are a little rubbery, but you know what? It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I'm enjoying this, and all I'm doing is climbing a tree. Of course, I just keep talking about aggro. There's a little hedgehog down there. I can assure you he's not going fast. Stay up, stay up. Go, 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 go. If you die, a rock will be used to respawn your last location. If you run out of rocks, you will go back to last checkpoint. Hey, I found me a rock. Rock and roll, everybody. Rock and roll. Hey, Jug. What up? Press right trigger to capture. These little creatures running around are much like your mind. Agitated and restless. However, as you get a hold of one of them, your mind starts to calm down. What would happen if you got all of them? I don't know. Hey, rocks. Hey, octopus. Whee! I think I came from there. Some people are born to speedrun. I was not born to speedrun. That little hedgehog, eh? Makes me think that I'm in Green Hill Zone 1. Hey! I'm back, you little gopher. On your ferret. Yoke, 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 yoke. Yeah, I got two of fifty. Well, did I mention today's sponsor? Today's sponsor is Sea Salted Caramel Sh Almond Shortbread. If you've got a craving for cookies, and the only cookies you have on hand are Sea Salted Caramel Almond Shortbreads, then take advantage. Indulge yourself. Put yourself some Sea Salted Caramel Almond Shortbread cookies. Press B to get a hint of where the level ends. Just like life's journey, the path to reaching it might not unfold in a straight line. Whoa. I gotta go up that way. That impossible. They formidable. Yes, kiss, sir. 
Hey, rock. Hey, gopher. I'm awesome. This game reminds me of the time that I had a head injury. Oh, I had a concussion once. I was playing football with friends. Touch football. Touch football, by the way. Touch football is a game where tackling is not allowed you cannot tackle good day mini me 96 how you doing i'm doing fine myself i was just relating a story about touch football and a concussion i once had and i remember playing this game of touch football that had no tackling and uh i Accidentally, whoa, there we go. I accidentally caught someone's knee with my chin while diving for the football, and that was enough to give me a concussion. And I had to sit at the rest of the game, which wasn't bad. You know, I'm not a good player. I'm not a not a fervent athlete or anything. But when I was going home, I told everyone I'd never had a concussion before and I asked for advice. And hey, can you give me any advice? No one said anything, so I just went home and slept. I slept for about 28 hours. I just slept. It was great. When I woke up, and I was feeling pretty good, really relaxed when I woke up. Told everyone that I had a concussion and that I slept for 28 hours. And suddenly everyone was incredibly worried for me. They got really angry at me. Told me that you should never sleep if you have a concussion. And here's a word to the wise for anyone who's watching. If you have a concussion, you should not go to sleep. You should go to a hospital. I did not know that. No one told me that. But that's that story. Gotta get my way over there, do I? Anyway, oh, mini me 96. Uh, thanks for joining in. This game controls like Shadow of the Colossus. And so it has. Yo! Oh! Oh, I'll be feeling that in the morning. Where's my broken bone meter? Maybe my friend jokingly told our gym teacher that I had one, and then she thought it was serious when we were playing flag football. Yeah. I mean, nowadays, concussions are serious, and you do not take them lightly. Not even at all. Not whatsoever. What did we know back then? We were just innocent unknowing, ignorant people. Ooh, check it out. Got stones. 
got chills. They're multiplying. Hey, buddy. that far side and I didn't readily see anything. It's down here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This game looks interesting, yeah. It, uh, it showed up on my recommended list and I fell in love with it because apparently there's an octopus. Can I even see the guy? Can't see him now. Anyway, there's gigantic octopus, like, like, utterly gigantic octopus in this game. But the gameplay mechanics almost appear like one of those, uh, yikes. Yeah, the, the recent rash of games, the recent slew that have come out that involve, uh, running and jumping to certain heights. Yeah, I'm going to have to try and go this way. And it seems like it's one of those types of games, which I haven't played. The last type of game that I played in that sense was um, getting over it with the gigantic pot. Oh, I could probably get up that way. Which is kind of the way I came. Oh, not good. I'm running out of stamina. Whew. That was close. Yeah, gigantic flying octopus. Absolutely. And I really can't tell you more about it. I don't really know much about it, to be honest. Doot. So I came over here and I didn't see anything. Well, I suppose I could go down here. Didn't come down this way earlier. Hey, crow. Where'd that crow go? Sorry for the uh, insane camera movement. I don't know how to remedy that, so... Yikes. Yikes. Atmosphere beast? Yeah. Kind of like that, yeah. But the way that this game is presenting itself, there's little hedgehogs across the map. Little gophers or hedgehogs all across the map. And if you connect with one of those gophers and or hedgehogs I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go up there like I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go up there um if you connect with one of those uh, hedgehogs it says it'll clear your mind honestly I don't even know what that means so I'm assuming this game has something to do with head trauma. And that's where I came into the story of concussions, and that's where you kind of entered into the picture yourself. So welcome aboard. Can't climb these mushroom things. The game recommended playing with a controller, so that's exactly what I'm doing. All right, Let's see if I can pop onto this mushroom. Yikes! Oh, oh, oh! Get up! Get up slowly! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay, I made 
it to the top of a mushroom. Now what? Okay, I gotta go back that way. You're connecting with animals through the forest, right? Yeah, possibly. Quite possibly, perhaps. It's right there. That appears like I gotta jump onto that as a platform. How do I do that? Not a clue. Yike. Oh, that was a little too much. All right, well. So jumping on mushrooms does nothing that I know of. Although, to be fair, I did not jump. I didn't hit all my buttons. Hmm. Might be a bit of a grind. I mean, I'm certain that this game's going to be a bit of a grind. I'm trying to figure out where's what and what's where. Oh, come on. You're tougher than that. Ah, nice. And I'm stuck. Bit of a ledge down here. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, that's why I say this game's got some head trauma to it. This kid recoils a lot. Kind of grunts and cries. There's nothing up there. Like too steep a drop, but we'll take it. Oh, you suck. There we go. My camera work with us. Whoa, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Hey, we lived. It's good. This is version 1.0. I gotta admit, I'm starting to get a little bored. It's never a good sign. <laughs> they reloaded a save spot. By the way, I'm not very far into the game. I only started playing about 20 minutes ago. Incidentally, this game is sponsored by sea, sea Salted Caramel Almond Shortbread. If you're enjoying shortbread cookies, make them Sea Salted al Caramel Almond. Oh. Mm. That's some good Sea Salted Caramel Almond right there. Hmm. Can't do anything that way. Let's head back over. Is 
Head back over this way. Maybe something will reveal itself. Hmm. You can really taste that sea salt and caramel, I'll tell you that. a lucky jump. So a thought occurred to me if this game really is a bit of a mental screw over that you can jump and then at the apex of your jump you fall. I mean that makes sense. Thing go up, thing go down. What if, and I'm not certain about this, this is just hypothesis. What if your camera angle dictates where you are on that up and down part? Anyway, I just tried it with this uh, jump and I managed to get on. So I sincerely don't know how valid that thought is. But it might have some teeth to it. We can always check it out later. I think I came down that way. Maybe, maybe not. Wah. Yep. Oh, that was a bit of a jump. Holy crap. I didn't think it was that steep. I don't really know how hard and fast this game plays with the physics. I don't know if I'm making any progress. It feels like I'm making progress. I think that's an irrelevant thought. It feels progressy. Much happening there. The camera keeps wanting to jerk me back. Ah, uh, there. That is not a good path. Oh. Hmm. Back where we started. I wish I could do something with this mushroom. Of the sun, maybe? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Why'd they put these mushrooms here if they didn't have any thing? Uh... I have so many buttons I can use. 
I go down there? Feels defeating if I go down. Feels like I need to go up. Once again, I don't know if the sun plays into this game. Uh, extreme close up. Hmm. Well. Again, I don't like this. Let's cross the bridge. I'm supposed to go to the clouds or something. That's a thought, isn't it? Maybe I am. That's a good idea. Just gotta figure out how to navigate a tree before I even start that. That was a waste of nothing. Yuck. Pretty much basically already came from there, so I did nothing. Well, that was not good. I could climb down the roots, but they only go that far. Version 1.0, everybody. <laughs> this tiny little blue lightning bolt is the only signifier that you have. Duh! of how you're supposed to go somewhere. All right, I didn't want to do this, but we're going to look at settings to make the game run faster, do stuff. Nope. No, let's keep going. Supposed to meet the flying octopus once you get to the top. I mean, that's a theory. They they taunt you with this flying octopus. Basically, they taunt you with it saying, look, here's a gigantic flying octopus. You should really try and go get a flying octopus. Hey, little guy. Where's my sanity meter? We have five of them. I don't know if that's my sanity meter. It's kind of frightening if it is. I'll tell you what, I'm not very far in. I, I'm really not very far in. I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to start it from scratch just so you can see the gigantic octopus. Check this out. And don't worry, I don't mind doing this. So you get to this tree. As you start climbing the tree. Get up just a bit this far and then the mass effect music happens. Something tells me I can jump and grab onto that tentacle right there. But I never do. 
Then he just kind of floats away, goes into this little hidey hole. That's the end of that. And where you saw me, I was not all that far away from just that. No, huge, eh? You can even you can even see him in the background to the right. Like you can see him just dipping down right over there. save spot. Like I say, I'm not that far away from where, uh, where we started from. There's the octopus right there. Then he goes away. Just kind of fades away. a different direction. Hey, buddy. I like octopuses. I really do. Did you know that the plural of octopus is not octopi? The plural is not octopi. The plural of octopus is octopuses. And once upon a time, I remembered what the name of a group of them is, like a murder of crows. Once upon a time, I remembered what it was. I can't remember it right now. See, there he is. Hey, buddy. Just chilling. Just chilling. Unlike me, who's got a case of brain damage. And then... Do, do, do. My little junior woodchuck head trauma. Just like life's journey, the path to reaching it might not unfold in a straight line. Basically, all the hint that you're given as far as that goes. Possibility of the octopus from outer space, absolutely. Absolutely, that's a possibility. It truly is. I still think that it's this kid having head trauma, but I'm not going to discount that as a theory in the least. We should name this kid. We should name this kid Wanderer or something. I was tempted to call those little hedgehog things aggro okay we're pretty close to where we were when we started
So now we're going to try jumping up. That didn't work. We tried jumping this way. That also didn't work. How did I do it? I do it last time. Somehow I got on there. That was not it. Gratuitous jump. And Tether Cat, how'd you do this? You were playing and then you were like, Doot. Somehow I made it up there, didn't I? Tiny piece of grass right there. That seemed all right. Give me the old shoulder check. I suppose. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> this is me just spamming the jump button at this point. It's an, oh well. Where's where the shot? to get up here and there's no reward. Well, I suppose we can take that way down. Look at me go. Give me a I think when I slid around here, give me a tutorial hint. Probably because I was sliding down the hill. I say we didn't miss much. Oh. Oh. It's the salted caramel almond shortbread. Mm -hmm. Just like mom used to make. Kid, my mom never made this. Hmm. Huh. 
findings. Love trigger. Glide. Glide. Hold if gliding is unlocked. We haven't done that. Glide is hold. Love trigger if gliding is unlocked. I don't think we've unlocked gliding yet. See if we can unlock gliding. Maybe we need to eat those gophers. Gliding, gliding, gliding. Well, that didn't do nothing. Gliding, 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 gliding. I just take the aboriginal beat. So then if I do have to climb up on these mushrooms and I get to the top, will gliding be unlocked? It's an irrelevant moot point because it wasn't unlocked when I hit the other place. Gliding would definitely make this game easier. to try and get down to that shiny thing there. Which I suppose there's a way down. You can make it down there. You have to go up that way. Oof. The impossible jump. Looks like there's a shiny thing down by the mushroom over there as well. This map is littered with shiny things. What do you call it? A uh... It's funny, you, you called the octopus an atmospheric beast. But I tend to think that this entire game could be qualified as an atmospheric beast. Definitely feels like a concussion. If you die a rock, yeah, okay, I know that. I'm gonna try and get down to that 
shining light down there. Good luck to me, because I just cannot. It's a fortuitous hole. Hey, we got us a tree. I think I've been by this tree, to be honest. Maybe I have, maybe I have not. Feels like I have. Come on, little blind wander guy, you got it in ya. up any tree that was this high. This is a good sign. It's a great sign. Oh, that's all right. I did something there. I don't know what, but it kind of did something. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, please. Frustrating, isn't it? There, all I need to do, all I need to do is just climb up here. even be trying this as consistently and as constantly as I am if I hadn't made that one jump earlier. No, I can't make it up there. Just can't. Just can't. Holy swing down and around. Why? As well, I have this side to try. I don't have too much faith in that. Let's continue back up this way. Sounds like we went up this full side here. We got as far as the uh, save point. I 
feel like we went down that far, far, far length. Probably in our best interest to stay up here somehow. Although I say it's in our best interest to stay up here somehow, but I have no idea how to stay up here somehow. Oh, shin splints. Okay, so they led me up here, but why? What's up here? Should I make that jump? Oof. That was a crazy jump. Where even am I? What's even going on? Well, now's as good a time as I need to do a hydration check. Is everybody hydration check? Hydration check. I wonder if the developers are watching. If they are. Hey, developers, how you doing? I bought your game today and I'm trying to figure it out. There's a distinct lack of octopuses in it. going the same way and I think that's a good thing one goes up one goes down taking the one that goes up Wisely. Hey, buddy. I think it's a boss fight. I don't think it's going to fight. I hope not. I have literally nothing and my jumping sucks. 
We got cool music. It seems to be making love to that flying rock. Yeah, I know, the music is definitely cool. My little head trauma guy wants to j jump on that octopus. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, yeah, it takes a beat and I'll give him that much. Oh. Not going that way. <laughs> now I got the hiccups. I blame society. or something like that. Yeah, I totally think it is. I really do. Octopuses, rocks. Come back here, you little gopher. Okay. Still don't know what these mushroom caps are, but I'm pretty confident they have something to do with that uh, glide utility. Oh, we can just go down this way. in the distance making love to more rocks with this mating dance we're getting pretty close to this glow in the center which I'm pretty sure is going to be the glide utility music's kind of cool a little bit of a video stutter on that one also, my game is always prone to, uh, or my, my doop -a -doop -a -doop. chupacabra, my video stream is always prone to crashing, I should say. So we'll see how that plays out. Yeah. Oh, come on. That was good. That was good. And tons of space and time. Going up, and I don't want to go up necessarily. a really roundabout way to something that was just really close by.
Kind of really far away from that entrance to wherever that glowing thing is. There's a tree. Yep. Didn't I come here? I've just done a 180. This is where I came in. I don't want to do that. It's counterproductive. So I somehow have to get down there. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Can I get down there somehow? Good, 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 good. I'm supposed to could have taken the tree express. Slow and steady, slow and steady. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Oh yeah, nice, nicely done. Good job, me. I'm awesome. that cave now. You go for... Oh, this is a good sign. This is a good sign. We're good. We're good. We made it. I have no idea what's going on, but we're doing all right. It's our shadow. Hey, shadow. Yay. Huh. Oof. And then he died. The end. Ooh. There's things floating in the air, little cellular microbe things floating in the air like that and they look like beads or cells anyway 
Yeah, we saved. Oh, and I've got a reflection. My reflection is in the land or the water or the glass or whatever this is. I cannot climb. Ooh, they light up in different colors. Get this level again. Uh, so that's the hub world. No, oh, I was at the hub world. Return to Nexus. Yes, please. See? Nexus, hub world. Next to save. Yes, please. Thank you. So now, I think we've been to the, either that's the next one we can go to or we've been there. This will get us back to start. So it's Shadow of the Colossus meets Flower. Well, let's go to the next world. And there's, oh, nice. Look at them. Back here. Restlessness and worry. This game is all about anxiety. This game is a metaphor for anxiety and it uses octopuses as a metaphor for anxiety. Look at this thing. Oh, I missed it. I snagged him too. Almost on him. It was close. <laughs> Give me your precious pebbles. You sound like Fred Flintstone. Actually, Barney Rubble, back in the... Well, in the air, hold the left trigger to glide. The stamina gauge will appear. I like how it doesn't even explain it. You don't even get an explanation to suddenly why you now have this new ability. There we go. Let's do it.
to get up that way. Well, I know I can use him to get to other areas. So now the thing is to use him to get to other areas. It's like Katamari Damacy. Not good. Go, 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 go. So that's where we came in. And so if we want to go to a different level, we got to go somewhere else. Scary. That's awesome. Yikes. That's scary. <laughs> I'm guessing you're not a fan of octopuses, are you? smart creatures like they are incredibly smart creatures there's a theory that they did not originate on earth and that they somehow hooked a ride as a celestial being to uh, arrive on the planet Thanks. via a stray meteorite or some such. Okay, this is where we get off. I think we're back at literally the exact same place we left. Also, real life is hard to stay on, but they're too intelligent. Yeah, they are insanely intelligent. These guys. There's an aquarium in Toronto, and uh, I was really happy to see them there. I mean, I don't like seeing any animal in captivity, don't get me wrong. I do not like that. I can't stand zoos and I can't stand aquariums for that purpose. And aquariums wouldn't be that bad for unintelligent life, you know, fish or whatever. But in this case, all right, here's my stop. one spot pretty sure I'm just supposed to make it to the higher level oh well I'll wait until the octopus express comes by at a later date Ugh. 
Yeah, they're aliens. Well, here's a pretty strong um, argument to be made that they're not a native Earthian life form. I think one of the things I read was that the hundreds and thousands of years that they've been around, their bodies haven't evolved. They're basically at peak evolution. I'm sure there's a lot of different variations, you know, size and what have you. I think this is my stop. Yoink! Nope, missed it. Missed it. But, um... Yeah, they're just... I love octopuses. I should drop some octopus facts sometime. Alright, I'm gonna play this for another half hour. Looks like there's like, I don't know, 10 or 12 worlds, and I'm going to use that term pretty loosely. We made it to the upper part. Yeah, there's no way I'm hitting those little guys. Let's just see if we can move up. What the heck? There's no way I can make that. Express yet again. Well, I wanted my octopuses, now I got my octopuses. Careful what you wish for, everybody. Oof. This guy wasn't inconvenienced by that. I don't have a fear of are octopuses tights Okay, so we've got uh, another save spot. That's good. Try to stay on the octopus. See where it takes you. You try and stay on the octopus. Old dog Daria.
It would help if I knew where the thing even was. Oh, there he is. How you doing, buddy? I was on the wrong side for the Octopus Express. Here we go. and see where he takes you. Whoa. I gotta admit, it's hard to see where he's taking me when I'm literally expending all my brain and energy power to not fall off him. Exactly on for the ride now, am I? Camera angle moving around everywhere. Try to stay on the octopus, see where he takes you. Oof. Just barely got him. stamina here. Where I am right now is where the octopus's mouth is. The octopus covers its beak right here. Once again, not exactly happy with stay on the octopus. Where do you take you? when I'm literally sitting on his beak. Ooh. Okay. Oh yeah, that was him. Get ready, maybe that one was. Once again, it's hard to stick around and enjoy the view. gives that thrust, that little ug thrust to designate whether it's going to uh, let you off at a spot or not if that makes sense Just gonna ignore me. I'm just standing in the center. I'm not even hanging. Seems like the center of the octopus is very akin to a catcher's glove. So I can take a moment. Okay, so we'll call that root one. Let's see where he's going. Shadow. Vertical. 
Route 1. So it's not that much of a difference in pattern. Like it's not a it's not a very long cycle. Shadow. So the game wants me to get off. Vertical is a good place to get off. I really think that it's where he does that thrust, which is right about here. At least some are not hidden. Yeah, I know. If I had to guess, it's going to be where that white bird is flying. cycle phase and I just picked up speed sound a moment ago it sounded like a radio signal it's very faint all right new place vertical where's the bird Okay. 
got some height. Yeah, did it. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Save spot. So the good news is I did it. The questionable news is what did I just do? I did it. I just like to know what it is that I did. It's possible all I did was activate a save spot. And now I gotta hop back onto the octopus. to a different area. All I did was activate the save spot. That's a theory. Shadow. Oh, don't tell me. He just... He didn't just take off. He totally just took off. The jerk. Well, I'm here now. Whoa. That little guy... Those little guys are just flinging themselves off to their doom. Way to go, little guys. Joie de vivre. Alright, it's... We're coming into the top of the hour. So I'm gonna do my best here. Yeah. You suck. I'm going to do my best to traverse a little bit more, but ultimately... Might just end up being done at this part. Oh, yeah. Remind me of why I got a safe spot right there. Am I taking the Planet Express? What am I doing here? something and I have no idea what I just did and I'm awesome we got a crow and that's good it's always a good sign why did that game say hey you should stay on the octopus and see where it takes you Says I gotta go up there. Where the heck do I get up there? I mean, the obvious.
So yeah, in the uh, 80s, there were these commercials for Fruity Pebbles, which was an, a Flintstones branded Saturday morning breakfast food cereal. And Barney was always trying to get Fred's Fruity Pebbles, being the cereal, of course. And it was kind of a Tom and Jerry scenario where Barney would try putting on a disguise and then saying to Fred, hey, I'm a I'm a cereal inspector. Can I inspect your cereal? And then we'd try and eat the Fruity Pebbles and then Fred would catch on. They were like 30 second commercial, so it's not like it was, you know, Sherlock Holmes or anything. Oh, you're right. Pro Strat 360 no scope that one was so anyway me collecting all these pebbles makes me really think of uh, hey, hey little guy really makes me think of uh, those old Flintstones ads the answer is up. Just waiting down there. Chilling like a mad villain. Well. Let's go snag that little guy and then we'll call it a session. Or not. that radio noise again. stage right up there. Oh yeah, I should call it right here. If I can find a safe spot, I will. Chasing the Unseen. So, Chasing the Unseen, eh? Not bad. I had fun. Honestly, I don't know how much more of that I'll play. Yeah, doesn't matter. I'm glad I supported the original developers. It is only version 1.0.0. So, there might be revisions. 
multiplayer where you play as other octopi. Octopuses. <laughs> All right. Let's call it. Everyone, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Mini Me 96, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, go have yourself a good night. Get hydrated. <laughs> get lots of sleep. And as always, as always, as always, and as always, thanks for watching.